Halton Region is getting a little over $2 million from the provincial government to help protect the health and safety of the most vulnerable. Milton MPP Parm Gill says it's part of a bigger picture. That's just obviously sort of a, a local number, uh, but overall in the recent economic action plan, our government uh, uh, put in or dedicated $17 billion. Out of that, over $3 billion is directly going into health care. Uh, over uh, uh, three plus billion is going to help uh, families. And uh, other than that, there are, there's 10 billion in that 17 billion that is going to help small and medium sized businesses. Gill also says this funding will especially help our seniors. Obviously, our elderly population, especially old age homes and seniors, are at a higher risk. So we need to provide the support to them. And also, uh, you know, the, uh, the, the, the workers that work each and every single day uh, in some of these long-term care homes to protect those seniors. So we've, we've we brought in some new measures to help the long-term uh, care homes and also provide support to seniors uh, because it's a, it's a vulnerable population. So we've got to look out for them. They've spent their entire life contributing to our country and helping build this country and we have a responsibility to take care of them and we're going to do that. Locally, municipalities and service providers will be able to use this funding to support things like the delivery of critical services, hire staff, get more personal protective equipment and find more ways to promote social distancing. But is two million dollars enough? Gill says it's a starting step. And as a uh, as we've said, as the government has said, uh, if more is required, we will not hesitate. We want to make sure, uh, you know, the health and the well-being of all of our residents is first and foremost. We can worry about all of the dollars afterwards in terms of, you know, how we're going to uh, boost our economy, how we're going to get the revenue back into the coffers and help pay some of the, the debt that we're, of course, we're going to incur with all of this. That's no secret. But first and foremost is the health and well-being of every single resident. Reporting for Halton News, I'm Melissa Candelaria.